just want to take a moment to share some of the ways that I use uh, InnoReader to read my morning or daily news. Now, I have things set up in such a way, normally on my computer, um, I have two screens, and the InnoReader would be on one screen, and, <clears throat> excuse me, the browser would be on the other. But in order to simulate this, um, I've uh, put them side by side on the same screen to make it easier to see. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, as you can see, I subscribe to about, well, you can't see this, but I subscribe to about 3,000 uh, different news sources. Uh, they yield about, um, usually about 5,000 articles per day and I only read a small fraction. One of the first things that I do is I go and mark everything older than a day as being read. And as you can see, that will give me about 5,000 articles here, in this case 5,294. The most important folder for me is uh, the tags folder. And what I have set up is a number of rules that will yield the best content for me. In preferences, under folders and tags, oops, no, under rules, sorry. Um, I've created rules, for example, SEO, that say, if there's a new article in the account where the title contains the word SEO or the title contains search engine optimization, then please tag it. I have found that this is the most effective way to get the best content. So what rules are doing are scanning my new articles that have come in from the 3,000 subscriptions that I have, and they are pulling out uh, only the ones that I want to see according to my keyword strategy. So, for example, here's an article about content marketing. This looks like a good article, but I'm not familiar with the source. So what I'm going to do is to press V for view. And if I look over here, on the right-hand side, this page is going to be loaded into the browser and normally what I do is check the SEM rush rank. Now all this tells me right now this says that the rank is not available. What that tells me right now is that this is probably a new blog. Uh, it has no authority from a Google standpoint but that doesn't mean that I don't want to share it. So, what I'm going to do is close that tab, and one of my rules is, for myself anyway, that I never leave a tab open that I'm not using, because tabs can do more to slow down the performance of your computer than any other thing. So, if you feel like your computer has been laggy recently, but you haven't, um, you know, but you constantly keep 20 tabs open in Chrome, Start there. And now, here in InnoReader, I can read the entire article, and if I'd like, I can share this article via buffer. My default is to share to my Google Plus page, to my LinkedIn page, and to my Facebook page. In addition, I'm going to send this to a Facebook group reserved for clients. So this same article is going to go four different places. And I can add this to the queue, or I can share it next or now, or schedule it for some other time. So because this isn't earth-shattering content, I'm going to just add it to the queue. and then I'll go back to my article. Now one of the things that I love most about 
in O-Reader is that it has a robust set of keyboard shortcuts. I can do almost anything from the keyboard. So as I'm reading my news, what I'm doing is just pressing the J key Okay, this looks like an interesting article, so I can press the W key, and that will have the content from the page brought into InnoReader. And I can read the entire article here without having to go to the site. Because of the way I have things set up, if I press the F key for favorite, this article is starred and it will automatically be sent to Buffer and distributed in social media because of a tool called If This Then That or IFT. So I press the J key to go on to the next article. And I'm going to press W because I would like to see more of what's in here. And while the content, the author, looks interesting, David Allen is one of my favorite writers, I'm going to pass on this and just go on to the next article. Okay, this looks like a good one from a reputable source. This one, I'm clicking the like button. That will send it to my personal Twitter feed. Again, using if this, then that. Okay, this looks like an interesting article for both categories. So I'm going to favorite it and like it. This is how I read the news. This is how I make sure that I'm getting the best content and the best news delivered to me. Okay, that looks like a good article for sharing. Now, this page I'd like to look at in the browser. I like sharing uh, infographics and if there's a way that I can if there is a nice big fat infographic and I can I can use it I like to do it in this case I'm not going to turn this into a blog post I'm simply going to favorite it so that it gets shared via social media same here In a lot of cases, these articles are reminding me of things that I already know. So I favorite them and share them in social media. But outside of that, I really don't do anything with them. By the way, everything that I share in social media in this manner is loaded into... Um, Evernote, it's bookmarked in Evernote so that I have a copy of everything that I have shared already. Okay, now if I come across something like this, I want to curate this for my uh, personal page. And I'm going to use a tool called Press This. And what I'm going to do is uh, trim down the title. OK, 
Okay, here's the quote. I'm going to block quote that. And then up here, I'm going to grab the image. And I now have a very simple blog post. that comes directly from my reading in InnoReader. Now in WordPress, this is automatically sent to the background. Okay? And it's automatically going to my Google Plus page, my Twitter page, my Facebook page. The one thing that it does not do automatically is go to Pinterest. So after I've posted that content, I click the, my own Pinterest button on my blog. And I put it in the right category. This is just a quick overview of how I take content from InnoReader and decide whether or not I want to send it to social media or turn it into a blog post. If you have any questions, please comment below or fill out the contact form. I'd love to help you master this tool because for me, no other tool is more important for content marketers or thought leaders for that matter.